Podcasters, hope you're doing fantastic and welcome to today's video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the coronavirus. I'm sure you've seen this everywhere you go. It's absolutely everywhere in the news, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. It's uh, splashed everywhere. And hopefully, this video will be a bit educational for you because people are going crazy, man. They're stacking on toilet paper. It's absolutely ridiculous. So, yeah, I'm going to be whispering uh, some facts about the coronavirus, some, some scientific facts. So, yeah, sit back, relax, and let's get into it. So, what do we know about the virus now? The coronavirus, or the COVID-19 virus, is a member of the coronavirus family that made the jump from animals to humans late last year. Many of those initially infected either worked or frequently shopped in the Hanan seafood wholesale market in the center of the Chinese city of Wuhan. Yeah, it started in Wuhan. Uh, and usually for a virus that has made the jump from one species to another, it appears to transmit effectively in the humans. Current estimates show that without strong containment measures, the average person who catches COVID-19 will pass it on to at least two people. Dang. The virus also appears to have a higher mortality rate than common illnesses such as a seasonal, seasonal flu. The combination of coronavirus's ability to spread and cause serious illness has prompted many countries, including the UK, to introduce or plan extensive public health uh, measures aimed at containing and limiting the impact of the epidemic. Those facts, by the way, are from a website called theguardian.com. Well, how can I stop myself and others from getting infected? It says, wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds and do this often, including when you get home or into work. Use hand san sanitizer gel if soap and water are not available. I've also seen that those gels are getting in ridiculously expensive like they're pumping the price which is absolutely ridiculous this is not the time to profit <laughs> but yeah avoid touching your face cough or sneeze into a tissue or the crook of your elbow uh, I think they, they mean like this uh, and put use tissues straight into the bin avoid close contact with people who are showing possible symptoms and follow in HAS guidance on self-isolation and travel uh, I don't go anywhere myself so uh, that's not like a major concern for me that that's one of the perks of being an introvert I don't go anywhere at all like I only go shopping for food uh, which is not very far away and I go in not you know not busy hours because I hate talking to people I hate meeting people so uh, I think I'm good <laughs> hopefully how can you tell the difference between a flu and COVID-19 the coronavirus outbreak hit a mid flu season in the northern hemisphere and even doctors can struggle to distinguish between the two the overlapping symptoms probably contributed to slow detection of community infections in some countries including Italy yeah, I've seen that Italy is, uh, you know, the virus is spreading like crazy there, and they are not allowed to uh, to go to go outside or at all. Please let me know uh, where where you live. Like, how is the situation there? I live in Morocco, and the situation here is, uh, you know, it just started. The virus just started here. I guess, as far as I'm aware, from the news, we have like seven cases. And they already shut down schools, universities, and all public places. No concerts, no nothing. <sighs> Typical flu symptoms, which normally come on quickly, include a high fever, sore throat, muscle aches, headaches, shivers, runny or stuffy nose, fatigue, and more occasionally vomiting and diarrhea. Doctors are still working to understand the full scope of symptoms and severity of uh, COVID-19, but early studies of patients taken to hospitals found nearly all of them de developed a fever and dry cough, and many had fatigue and muscle aches. Lung infection is common in the corona patients. 
patients uh, coronavirus patients yeah I've heard that it hits the lungs first even outside the most severe cases and this can lead to breathing difficulties a runny nose and sore throat are far less common reported by just 5% of patients the only real confirmation of having COVID-19 is taking a test what should I do if I have symptoms? If you have symptoms or think you might, you might have been exposed to the virus when traveling or through other contacts, call the NHAS 111 service or visit their online service or contact the equivalent service in your country. Do not go to GP, pharmacy or the hospital. It spreads crazy there. Okay. It says, what is the mortality rate of the new coronavirus? It's probably about or a bit less than 1%, so don't panic. Much higher figures have been flying about, but the chief medical officer, Chris Witty, is one of those who believe it will be, it will prove to be 1% or lower. The World Health Organization's Director General, Dr. Tedros, talked of uh, 3 to 4 percent but his figures were calculated by dividing the number of deaths by the number of officially confirmed cases we know there are many more mild cases that do not get to hospital and are being counted and are not being counted which would bring the mortality rate significantly down so just relax deaths are the highest in the elderly which varies with very low rates among younger people. Although medical staff who treat patients and get exposed to a lot of virus are thought to be more at risk. But even among the over 80, you know, over 80 years old, 90% will recover. Man, I feel bad for, uh, for people who work in hospitals and stuff. They get exposed to, to, to this stuff. Okay. Uh, the final uh, chapter is their cure for coronavirus not at the moment but drugs are known to work against some viruses are being trialed in China where there are thousands of patients and new trials are starting in the US and other countries large numbers are needed to find out whether they work in a few people or a lot of people or nobody at all the most hopeful are Caletra which is a combination of two anti-HIV drugs and uh, remdesivir which was tried but failed in Ebola patients in West Africa in 2013 and 2016. Some Chinese doctors are also trying chloroquine, an anti-malarial drug which is of patent, therefore cheap and highly available and would be very useful in low-income countries. The first results are expected in mid-March and should indicate if the drugs are will at least help those who are most severely ill. A miracle cure is not expected. So yeah, guys, that is it for today's video. Don't panic. Just you know, just uh, protect yourself. Don't expose yourself to uh, to the outside world too much. Just be an introvert for a while. Uh, yeah, stay safe and much love. Have a peaceful night.